You know what? YouTube can really be a struggle sometimes. Don't you think? You see, the thing is, is I've never really met any YouTuber who hasn't at some point struggled with the whole idea of growing a YouTube channel, publishing videos that drive views. We can put so much time and energy into what we publish, and oftentimes it just doesn't seem like we're making any progress at all. If that's you, then this video, well, it's for you. So let's cover two specific mindsets that I see a lot of creators having, and maybe this will help you. Maybe you've got this type of a mindset yourself. Early, we identify that there is a lot to learn and we've got to strive to figure out how to get the results that we're after, views, subscribers, and channel growth. And so you begin to watch videos on how to grow and how to drive views and you hear about things like thumbnails and average view duration and staying consistent and having a schedule and closed captions and YouTube tags and more. By the way, this is fantastic. Really striving to figure out, learn, and discover best practices can absolutely help you grow. But at some point, it's also important to identify that what we're talking about, there's really no mystery or secret ingredient. Yet YouTubers like me, we use secret all the time because it's the thing psychologically that causes people to click. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't be a good YouTuber, right? If I didn't use words like secret and hidden gems or things like that, I may not get as many clicks to my videos. And this is really the point where a lot of people struggle because they've heard about the most important stuff thumbnails, video titles, being compelling, keeping the viewer watching. Uh, these, are, these are the cornerstones of YouTube's success. And after you've heard that, you've heard it, you know it. And if you click on a thumbnail and you're hoping there's gonna be some new secret thing, sadly, you're probably gonna be mistaken. And what happens is people continue to watch and hope and it's a cycle that really leads to a feeling of frustration, a feeling of I'm never gonna figure this out. When all along, the thing they need to do, they've already heard. And that's what I really wanna talk about. You see, at some point, you just have to take responsibility and you have to say, okay, these are the things that are most important. How good am I at those things? What kind of skills do I have around thumbnails? Can I improve? How about my delivery on camera? My ability to communicate clearly with the audience? If you ignore things, if you ignore the big holes that are in your video, for example, someone just commented this on my channel the other day. They're like, oh my God, I'm so frustrated. It's always the same stuff. I keep clicking like a dummy and Brian's just trying to make money. And sadly, I went to this individual's channel and it's like their voiceover was, was, was poor, was actually an, a computer generated voiceover. I just think that's the thing you've got to identify and, and improve. It's not about identifying some secret mystery ingredient. It's about identifying what's holding you back. It's about identifying the weak spot in your skill set. If your delivery is bad, work on it. If your audio is poor, if you've got a lot of hissing, if there's a lot of wind noise, improve upon it. And when you do that, when you start watching videos with the idea of I've got to learn more about thumbnails, I've got to learn more about keeping viewers watching, at that point, that's when it's so much easier to start seeing the power in so much amazing content that's released by creators like Daniel Battelle and Roberto Blake and Nick Nimmin and B to the G. That's me, Brian G. Johnson and Daryl Eves and Tim Schmoyer. And the reason you keep hearing about the same thing is it's what's most important. I mean, could you imagine if we talked about things that really weren't as important? It, think how much more confusing it would be. Think about how you wouldn't know which way to go when it comes to focusing on the right stuff to get the best results on your YouTube channel.
I've said it a million times. It's not about doing what I share in my videos. It's about doing it again and again and again and every single time striving to improve. In my vlogging, I never really liked that word. I feel like the word vlog just isn't specific enough and it, it doesn't make it easy for the audience to really understand what kind of videos you make. But maybe I'm vlogging. I don't want to, but I don't... Look at that tree. That's a cool tree. Oh my gosh, look at these planes.